So now that we've talked about the implementation of Time Memoizer EX, let's just take a step back and talk about the pros and cons of this particular approach. So the Time Memoizer EX fixes some of the problems with the Timed Memoizer version. In particular, Timed Memoizer EX handles timeouts more scalably since it only registers a single runnable for purging. So therefore, you only have one runnable, not one runnable for every key value pair. So you could have hundreds or thousands or hundreds of thousands of key value pairs, but you only have one timed runnable. Therefore, this approach is, is much more lightweight because it uses much, much less memory, if you have large numbers of entries, in, in which case is when it really matters to have scalability. One thing I should point out, you'll note that the implementation we saw of timed memoizer, which, which had a, a key value pair associated with a runnable for every key value pair, there was only one thread of control that was allocated for the, the scheduled executor service. And therefore, we didn't really get a, a benefit from concurrency. Everything was still serialized when those timeouts were processed. Uh, one potential downside with Time Memoizer EX would be if the Time Memoizer had a pool of threads to handle timeouts, then it might be able to do it more efficiently. But I think that would cause more trouble than it's worth. And so the Time Memoizer EX approach really is going to be more scalable and, and should not be any less efficient than the implementation that uses the Time Memoizer implementation, where there was a runnable for every key value pair.